So I was going to release a video today about who my number one midfield target would be for Arsenal. But in the past 24 hours, we have had some huge news. Now, the news isn't amazingly reliable, but it is from a pretty decent source. That source being from John Cross of the Mirror. That news being that Arsenal are closing in on a £45 million deal for Benjamin Sheshko from Leipzig and that Sheshko has said yes and wants the move to Arsenal. Now again, it's not David Ornstein, it's not Fabrizio Romano, so I don't actually know how reliable it is. But if this report is true, then it is certainly an interesting move for Arsenal, a huge move for Arsenal, one that I could see exactly why Arsenal would do it. But if the report is true, why Benjamin Sheshko? Are we overpaying? What role and position will Sheshko play? Well, that's what we'll be talking about today. So what's going on, everyone? You are listening to Gunner Central here. I hope you're all doing well. Please be sure to like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get into it. Now, Arsenal have been linked since about January with Sheshko. But who exactly is he? Well, Sheshko is a Slovenian striker who actually turns 21 on the day of recording and standing at 6 foot 5, he has a really good physical profile. He signed a professional contract at the age of 16 with Red Bull Salzburg and was immediately loaned to their farm club in the Austrian second division where he played 44 games and scored 22 goals and got 6 assists, proving he was more than good enough to play at least in the Austrian first division at just the age of 17. He then debuted for Salzburg two years after signing for the club and at Salzburg, Sheshko, who mainly came off the bench for them, only started eight out of their 24 games in his first season. While he was still a really good member of the squad and in his second season at Salzburg, he became more of a regular starting player, starting in 23 out of the possible 30 games that he could have. And he was so impressive in both seasons for Salzburg, scoring 29 goals and getting 11 assists in 73 games before his 19th birthday. That is outstanding. He was playing so well in Salzburg that RB Leipzig in Germany got Cesco from their sister club paying 24 million euros just a year ago for him. And Cesco's first season in Germany, well, I think it's very fair to say that he did not disappoint. Benjamin Cesco got himself 18 goals and two assists in 42 games for Leipzig. Those are some really good stats when you consider the fact that he was only 20 years old in his first season in a top five league, only started 22 out of the 42 games, overperformed his XG by six goals, and ranked in the 96th percentile of strikers in the Bundesliga in goals. Benjamin Sheshko had some really, really impressive performances. He never looked out of place in the Champions League or in the big games against the teams like Bayern Munich. Sheshko in the Bundesliga looked amazing and looked like a proper striker. And if you watch him, you wouldn't expect him to be 20 years old. He was outstanding. But now if Arsenal were to get Sheshko, if these rumors were true, what position, what role would Sheshko be playing for Arsenal? Well, I think it's obvious that Arsenal definitely needs someone on our forward line. I keep Keep saying this and it keeps remaining true we need someone to come play on the forward line whether that be a left winger a right winger a striker we need someone to come play on the forward line hopefully be a starting level player but at least add depth to the forward line and while Sheshko can only play striker he certainly helps out with depth and fills a position of need that being the striker but now if Arsenal only sign Sheshko in the window that can play in the forward line then believe it or not I think Sheshko will still probably be a backup striker behind Kai Havertz and he's probably gonna be alongside Gabby Jesus fighting for minutes allowing us to sell Eddie Nketiah and I wouldn't mind that at all for me Eddie Nketiah and Jesus are the same profile of a striker not that they play the exact same type of way but their physical tools are the same and Sheshko however is very tall at six foot five he's quite quick so he's going to bring a different dynamic off the bench. For me, Sheshko right now at his age and his quality, he would be a perfect impact substitute for Arsenal if needed. And being as young as he is, Sheshko definitely still has a path to improve and eventually become that starting level striker in no time. And if Arsenal get Sheshko for the rumored £45 million price tag, well, I think that would be an elite piece of business. £45 million nowadays really isn't that much to pay for a striker that as young as he is that has just had the season season that he has in a top five league in the Bundesliga that possesses the physical tools that he has 
He's also a Slovenian international that has played 28 games for his country and scored 11 goals. Šeško is a really good finisher, very good with his head, scoring 5 out of his 14 league goals with his head. He has also some really good decent movements in the box, scoring all but one league goal in the box in the season. Šeško would bring a completely different dynamic to the team, whether he starts or he comes off the bench. I can certainly see him start for games, I can certainly see him come off the bench. Again, at 6'5", as quick as he is, if he comes off the bench, he'll be an awesome impact substitute that will allow us to use our set pieces even more. We know Arteta likes these taller players, your Salibas, your Gabriels, your Havertz, your Declan Rices, and Sheshko fits that mold perfectly. Now, in terms of strength, Sheshko still has to fill out his frame, but that will come with time. He's only just turned 21 years old. Look, there are other attackers I would still love Arsenal to get, even if we get Sheshko. I still think we probably need another attacker, maybe a right winger who can play as a backup for Saka. But I really like the idea of going young, getting in Sheshko, because right now Kai Havertz is probably our starting level striker. And Sheshko, if we get him in, well, he'll be an awesome backup that could eventually transition into becoming our out-and-out -out starting striker. It'll also allow us to cash in on Nketiah without losing any depth in the forward line. And I think overall, it's just a really good piece of business. £45 million for a player who has just turned 21 years old, is 6'5", very quick, very good finisher, scored 14 league goals in the Bundesliga, scored two goals in the Champions League, played really well against Real Madrid. Overall, I would love this piece of business by Mikhail and Arsenal.